thought I was having some BMS problems, but it's not even that. My wire crimp on this negative here is loose. High power mode. And cut. All right, the trip out problem keeps happening. I've been talking to a guy, Matt, from the US, and he's got an idea of what to do. I think it's out of balance. And there's a list of all the alarms. So there's too much difference between the cells charge levels I think that's what the problem is so I think I need to take this apart and figure that out so here's some my strings this is sort of how my battery set up this way they are set up in parallel those are called the strings and they set up in series sideways just to clear that up um, so string 10 is high string 6 is low so I'm gonna siphon a bit of power off 10 and put it into six. I've made up this little battery pack of five cells and I'm gonna suck the power off here and try and put it in this one to balance the battery. Monitoring what happened, what's happening here with uh, my phone. Oh, that was the high one now, and now this one's the high one. So I could probably swap to string 14 soon. All right, there's the battery with the covers all off. Let me just show you guys quickly how I think it works. All of these little wires go to different parts of the BMS so it knows what each string is doing. But I have noticed this one uh, thing has disconnected here, but I don't think that should make it not work anymore. One cell shouldn't do much. I'll solder that back together and see if that fixes it. So I got this going, but now it's not going again. It worked really good. I didn't video it, but it went pretty fast. I went down the road and took it up to 70K. Full power, everything works great. So I was doing some wheel stands in the backyard, also not on video, and uh, come down pretty hard from wheelie because I was gonna hit the trailer and the battery can move a little bit and this plug got crushed and then it wouldn't go anymore. And this is for the Hall Effect sensor. The plug looks fine, like there's nothing wrong with it, but now it just does the old beep, beep, beep trick. So that's all it does, it won't go. But then I can also turn the motor a little bit. It's hard to turn because it's got a gearbox. See, in it's a position where the Hall Effect sensor must be working. And then it goes burp it'll flick to the next Hall Effect sensor. So basically these wires here go down to the motor and there's some little sensor switches that pick up where the magnet is and as it spins around it tells which coil to fire basically and that's what spins a motor. I hope I'm explaining that right. Ta-da! So I took this little cover off which is actually quite hard to do so I hammered a razor blade in each side to pry that off and now that I'm in there everything's all siliconed up but at least I'll be able to probe those wires and test that there's not a fault in the wire somewhere. This guy Matt from America has been helping me through Messenger and I've been rolling the bike back and forth and testing between the wires to see if the Hall effects are picking up the magnet and sending a signal but they don't seem to be working consistently at least or at all. Um, shout out to the wife, she had a great idea to use clothes pegs to hold this thing. But this is what I've got going on. I've got the black jammed in the black up the top here because it's easier. The power comes in through this pin here. If you can see the meter will go up to 6.4 volts. And then these ones here are the sensors. So this one must do this one. No, nothing. So I'm pretty sure all of them are bad. So I've been trying everything to get this thing fixed. I think all the Hall Effects sensors are broken. I tried to pull the one out of this hoverboard motor, but they broke apart when I tried to get them out. They're like glued in there, so good luck getting those out. So now I've got to wait about 10 days for some to come from China. So I'm heading out to Jaden's birthday party. Uh, it's going to be pretty fun. There's a whole lot of farm bikes and they're going to race them on his motorbike track, so Next scene will be there.
Okay, okay I'm having a go on Jaden's. Uh, what is this? Two fifty? Yeah, one, one down, four up. <laughs> six up. You know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, make a kick out of it. Oh, what? My electric bike would be going around there that fast, eh? Okay, it's about 10 days later. My parts come in from China. Thank you, Chinese. Uh, the Hall Effect sensors are in here, so I can just put this in. Let's see if it works. Got the new Hall Effect sensors in there. Um, you can adjust the timing of it with these screws, but I don't know where it was supposed to be. Run it up and it went backwards, but I did the auto loan sequence on the app, and now. <laughs> All right, we're back in action. Since I've decayed the welder, I thought I'd better do some welding for a change. I just welded a washer on here for this little bolt, so I can just remove this one bolt, the whole battery can come out. I did have this plastic piece in there, but it's too flexible and the whole battery was wriggling around too much. So hopefully, we won't have that issue again. Okay, let's put her into high power mode. One, two, three, full throttle. going less now. I haven't wound the speed up, that's why, on the app. There's a thing called flux weakening, where you can wind up the speed and it sacrifices torque for speed. Kilos too, it's pretty heavy. All right, the daughter and I are just going for a bit of a ride. She's on the scooter, so I've learned quite a lot about uh, batteries in this episode. I don't know if I can fit through here, eh? Come on, you fatty. Get in there.
Someone's undies in the water down there. Huh? Someone's undies in the water. I don't think it's going to float. Front wheel's floating. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to go any deeper. At least I do some waterproofing. Bad idea. Don't do it. See, now it's stuck in yourself. Almost floating. <laughs> yep. So it didn't float as good as I thought it was going to. If I went a bit deeper it would, but I didn't want the battery to go underwater. You'd never be able to do this on a normal motorbike because everyone would complain about the noise and you'd get in trouble. But stealth mode here. Woohoo! Go Mia! Oh, not enough power! It'd push you. Okay, so future episodes, I want to go down to the beach. And I want to go for a ride in the bush. And oh, is there a ford down here? There is. Let's cross the ford. It's an old ford for a farmer down here, but it's all washed out. Also learned quite a bit about the Hall effect sensors in this episode too. So I just ended up buying the whole unit, which was a lot easier than soldering on the new sensors. I'll put a little picture up of what the individual component looks like. The bike's going really well now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see some more riding videos. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.